Okay, Assalamualaikum everyone. Okay, today I will use notebook. I hope all of you will take your notebook, buku warna hijau. Today teacher will use notebook. I hope you can take your notebook. Buku warna hijau, buku tulis. Okay, Mutakif, Amel, Dani, show me your face. Sofia, Damia, Faiz, Arik, Akil, Zia. Ha, tunjuk muka barulah teacher rasa teacher ajar awak. Kalau tak teacher rasa teacher ajar seorang-seorang. Buka nota yang warna hijau tu Because today we will learn a new topic So I will give you notes Okay, I think we should start now Okay, before we start, let's recite doa first together One, two, three Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Allahumma iftah alayna hikmataka wa insyur alayna min khazain rahmatika ya arhamar rahim Rabbi shrahli sadri wa yasirli amri wahlul khidatan min lisani yasafi qawli Rabbi zidni ilman warzukni fahman amin Okay, before um, I start with a new topic. I want uh, do a little bit research about previous topic. Okay, previous topic we we have learned about that. About plan. Okay, now I want to ask. Ah, yang tutup muka ni teacher nak tanya dulu. Uh, I want to ask Damia Batrisha. Okay, Damia, Damia Batrisha, are you there? I want to ask you question. Apa tak boleh tanya soalan? Okay, no Damia Batrisha. Ada ke tak Damia Batrisha? That's why I ask you to open your uh, video so that I know you are there and you listening to me. Okay. Uh, so yang tak buka, I want to ask Faiz Arik. Faiz Arik, can you hear me? Okay, Faiz Arik. Okay, I'm going to go Okay, last week we have learned about plan. Now, I want you to state one way of plan reproduction. Kita ada six way of plan reproduction. Can you give me one way of reproduction? Is Arik baik rosak? Hmm, okay, I want to ask Mutaki. Mutaki. Hear me? Uh, give me one way of plan reproduction. Kita ada belajar. There are six way of plan reproduction. Give me one, Mutakif. Okay, give me one example. The way of plan reproduction. Okay, give me one, Mutakif. Ada enam cara pokok boleh tumbuh. Give me one example. One way of plant reproduction. Okay, who can help me to keep? Yes, thank you. Give me one way of plant reproduction. Ada enam cara pokok tumbuh. Abang tahu teacher satu. 
Ingat tak ni? Okay, give me one. Ah, teacher tanya semua tak jawab. Okay. So I think I have to do revision. Uh, how come I want to proceed with a new topic if you not still? Okay, ada orang bagi jawapan kat teacher. Um, melalui group chat, but it's okay. I will do revision with you. So then after this, when I ask you, give me the answer. Okay, remember there are six, there are six ways of plan reproduction. Okay. I think I have to mute all. Okay. Okay. So I already mute all. Because some of you, when I ask question, you not give me the answer. So I think that you not remember. So I should do a little bit revision so that you can remember before I proceed with a new topic. Because today teacher want to teach you new topic. But if previous topic you, need, you still not remember, so I think I should uh, do revision. Uh, if I ask you question, then you can answer me. So that's me. You can understand if I ask you not answer me. Uh, I think that you not understand. Okay, there are six way of plant reproduction. Teacher dah ajar hari tu. Ada enam cara macam mana pokok tumbuh. Okay, this time I want you to remember what is the six way of plant reproduction. Okay, number one, six. Okay, the first, the first way of plant reproduction, seed, biji benih. Macam mana kita nak tanam pokok? Cara pertama, we can use seed. Yang kedua, the second one is suckers. Okay, suckers. Next, we also can do planting by using cutting stem. Next, underground stem. Next, uh, spores. Okay, last one is leaf. Okay, remember there are six ways of plant reproduction. Okay, there are six ways of plant reproduction. Seeds, suckers, cutting stem, underground stem, spores and the last one is leaf. I, I hope all of you can still remember the six way of plant reproduction. Okay, I hope all of you can still remember there are six way of plant reproduction. And do you still remember what is the examples of this plant? Okay, so uh, this time I want to ask you a question. I hope you still remember. Okay, Akif. Can you give me an example? Plant that can be reproduced through seed. Pokok apa yang boleh tanam melalui biji benih? Can you give me an example? Okay. Melon. Huh? Watermelon. Okay, thank you. Very good, Akif. Watermelon. Okay, next. Suckers. Mm, I want to ask Hana. Can you give me an example? 
plant that can be reproduced through suckers. Pokok apa? Pokok apa? Ah, cari. What types of plant that can be reproduced through suckers? Suckers mean pokok tu tumbuh sebelah dengan parents plant. Dia akan tumbuh dengan parents plant sebelah parents plant dia. As a young plant. Pokok apa ada mak dia tapi sebelah dia dia tumbuh anak pokok. Ah, what types of plant that can be reproduced through suckers? Okay, some of your friend have give me the answer. Okay, Fatin Auni give me the correct answer. Okay, Rauda also give me the correct answer. Okay, very good. Okay, good Haikal. You give me the correct answer, Akmal Haikal. Yes, Danny, good. Nazir, try again. Are you sure? Okay, Dini, good. Okay, so I write the answer here. Your friend said banana plant. Okay, remember banana or also yam, pokok keladi. Okay, this is example of plant that can be reproduced through suckers. Suckers mean they are young plant which are grow beside the parent plant. Okay, next. Okay, Hana, I hope you can still remember this one. Okay, this example. Okay, next I want to ask Ama Hadi. Can you give me what example of plant that are reproduced through cutting stem? Rambutan tree. Cutting stem. Kita potong batang dia, kita tanam. Hmm. Kita tanam batang dia. Hmm. Ha, tak ingat. Okay, spinach. I give you examples. Water spinach. Okay, can be reproduced through cutting stem. Yes, very good, Dani. Uh, rose. And then, pokok bunga rose, and then uh, um, tapioca, pokok ubi kayu. Okay, that is, yes, very good. Basil, uh, uh, Fatin Auni uh, told me basil. Okay, this is an example of plant that can be reproduced through cutting stem. Maksudnya, kita, kita potong batang dia, kita tanam. So, they will grow as a new plant. Tak semua pokok. Contohnya yang ada batang macam rambutan, your friend said. Tak semua pokok, kita ambil batang, kita tanam, dia tumbuh. Tak semua pokok. Yeah. Okay, next. Can you give me example what plant that can be reproduced through underground stem? Okay, this time I want to ask. Okay. Okay, Zia Azahra said potato. Very good, Zia. Thank you. Potato. Okay, pokok apa lagi yang semuanya dia tumbuh di bawah tanah? Okay, good. Rania said carrot. Okay, this type of plant are underground stem. Kalau perasan buah apa yang ada bawah tanah tu, okay, that mean um, that plant are reproduced through underground stem. Contohnya carrot, potato, dia tumbuh bawah tanah. Yes, onion. Dia tumbuh bawah tanah. So that's mean they are underground stem. Tapioca also underground stem sebab ubi dia ada bawah tanah. Okay, tapioca can be uh, reproduced through two ways. Okay. Okay, next. Can you give me an example of plant that can be reproduced through spores? 
sports. Okay, good. Da da Dini Fatin Auni Rauda, you give me a good example. Okay, mushroom. Next fern. Okay, this is the example of plant that can be reproduced through spores. Spores ni means um, dia adalah debu-debu yang kecil. They will under side of leaf. So, bila angin tiup, ha, dia akan terbang and they will grow as a new plant. Okay, the last one, leaf. Can you give me an example of plant that can be reproduced through leaf? Ha, siapa ingat lagi? Teacher tanya. Okay, Fatia Zahira. Okay, Rauda, Danny, you give me a good example. Very good. Fatiha Zahira, can you give me example? Pokok apa yang boleh tumbuh melalui daun? Mango. Pokok ha? Mango. Try again. Daun dia kita tanam tumbuh pokok. Mango ada biji, dia akan guna biji. Okay, your friend give me the answer. Danny and Rauda give me a correct answer. Okay, example of plant that can be reproduced through leaf is snack plant. Aloe vera. Ha, dia tak ada batang. Okay, this is example um, of plant that are reproduced through leaf. Ha, dia tak ada batang pun pokok ni. Dia ada daun saja. So, they will reproduce through leaf. Okay, I hope you can remember the six way of plant reproduction. Okay, if I ask you to copy this note, can you copy my note? Kalau teacher suruh salin, boleh tak? Okay, so I want you to take your green book, ambil buku warna hijau, salin ni. Salin dalam buku warna hijau. Don't forget to write the date and day for today. So today is 6 July 2020. Okay, your friends ask me, what do pumpkin reproduce through? Okay, pumpkin are the seed. So pumpkin, they reproduce through seed. Apa-apa buah dalam dia ada seed. So, awak boleh guna seed tu untuk Tanam pokok. Kalau kalau your parents um, beli pumpkin, awak potong akan nampak biji dalam dia. So you can take that uh, seed, uh, you can do planting, put at the soil, in the soil. So they will grow as a young plant. Okay, so today is Monday. Okay, I give you five minutes only. I give you five minutes to copy this note. I, I hope all of you can still remember. Okay, there are six ways of plant reproduction. Okay, lepas tu, next I will uh, proceed with a new topic. Okay, Dini done. Good. I give you another three minutes. Okay, make a mapping map like I did.
Kirauda. Okay, two minutes left. Ah uh, yes, Ibrahim, guna buku hijau. Nanti datang sekolah, teacher check your book. Okay, one minute left. Okay, your friend asked me, teacher, what is fern? Fern tu pokok paku pakis. Pokok tu biasanya awak akan nampak dekat um, dekat hutan eh. Ataupun tempat rumput-rumput yang panjang. Bentuk dia, sekejap nanti cucu cuba lukis. Bentuk dia macam ni. Dia adalah rumput yang paku pakis. Uh, Pun after this, teacher tunjuk ke awak. Haa, buka macam ni. Lepas tu, under side the leaf, dia ada uh, spores. Spores bintik-bintik ni. Sebab tu kadang-kadang, okay. Uh, kita tak tanam pun dia tumbuh. Because spores ni, bila angin tiup, dia akan jatuh dekat tempat lain. So, bila dia jatuh dekat tempat lain, dia akan tumbuh a new plant. So, any plant that are from spores, Awak tak tanam pun awak tiba-tiba nampak dia tumbuh. Macam mana boleh tumbuh? Because of this spores. Okay, spores ni is very, uh, very, very ringan eh, very light. So, bila angin tiup, dia akan terbang. So, bila terbang, jatuh kat tanah, they will um, grow as a young plant. Okay, spores. Okay, I already share my slide at um, Virtual Mustafa. Okay, you can see my slide. The, um, at my slide, I have shown you um, example of plant. I have shown you uh, the, the picture so that you know. Okay, this is fern. This is um, aloe vera. This is basil. This is onion, potato. So, ada banyak example teacher tunjuk dalam slide teacher. Ataupun boleh tengok dalam YouTube teacher. Okay, everyone done. Very good. So, I think um, we should proceed with a new topic. So, today teacher will teach you a new topic. Our new topic is density. Okay, I think this is very new for you. Density and what is density. 
I hope you can concentrate on this new topic. Okay, siapa yang belum siap? After this, I will upload um, this video in virtual Mustafa. So kalau belum siap nanti, awak tengok balik video tu and then uh, you copy the notes. Okay, I will stop share here. Okay, now I will share my screen on our new topic today. We will learn about density. Okay, this is our topic for today, density. Okay, wait for a while. Okay, can you see my slide? Boleh nampak slide teacher? Show me your thumbs up if you can see my slide. Okay Zia, nampak tak slide teacher? Okay nampak. Haikal, nampak uh, Akmal, nampak tak slide teacher? Ha, tunjuk, tunjuk very good if you can see my slide. Okay, thank you. Okay, this is a topic that you will learn today that is density. Okay, density is related to sink or float of certain object. Okay, today we will learn about density. Density ni, they are very related to object. Why object sink and why object float? Okay, object sink because of their density. And some object float because of their density. Sing means tenggelam, floats mean uh, timbul, terapung. Okay. Okay, look at to my next slide. Okay, density means the floating or sinking of an object which are related to density of the object against the density of water. So that means density is very related to floating or sinking against the density of water. Sebab so, normally um, the object will sink um, or float against um, dalam air ataupun dalam apa-apa cecair. Okay. And the density of object is different with each other, each other. So different object will have different density. Okay, as you can see at this picture, okay, there is six object, which are uh, three of them. They are dark, dark toys, and then kayu ni, and oh sorry, ranting. And also, um, kayu balap. Okay, these three types of object are float. Because why? Because of the density. Okay, I will tell you more. What is density after this? 
and then this um, key glass and also stone these three types of object are sing and why this object sing so different object they will have different density okay not all object have same density tak semua objek mempunyai density yang sama objek yang berlainan mempunyai density yang berlainan certain object are float and certain object are sing okay this is the main point here Object there are less dense than water will float. So that's mean semua object, okay, all the object which are float as you can see here, toys. Ni apa ni kapal, ship, ni log, kayu balak, and this ball. Okay, these four types of object are float. Float. That's mean, okay, bila dia float, that's mean this object are less dense. Okay, the keyword, the keyword here is less dense than water. Because ni adalah water. Because they are water. Bila orang tak dalam air, dia terapung. That's mean, bila dekat atas, dia adalah less dense than water. So, this object will float. Okay, dia, kali, kalau ikutkan dense ni adalah, density ni adalah ketumpatan dalam bahasa Melayu. Okay, dense ni adalah ketumpatan. So, kalau dia less dense, this object will float. Okay, another keyword here, as you can see, Okay, stone, key, key nail, uh, and this brick, batu. Okay, these four objects are seen. So, when objects are seen, that means these objects are more dense than water. More dense. So, remember, if the objects are seen, they are more dense. So as you can see here, this is water. Kalau object dekat bawah ataupun sink, because they are more dense. Tapi kalau object dia terapung, because they are less dense. Then water. Kita tambah ya, then water. More dense, then water. Okay, don't worry. After this, I will explain more. Okay, look at to the next slide. Okay, this object. Okay, this is plastic. Um, dark toys. Wood. Oh, this one cork. Cork means um, gabus. Kabus yang bentuk dia macam Biasanya dia, dia ada dekat botol kan, dia botol Atasnya ada kok, kabus ha, Ni botol Okay, kok tu adalah kabus atas ni Yang kita tutup botol Okay So these three types of object They are fluid So bila dia fluid That means they are less dense So the keyword here, if the object are float, that means the object are less dense. Okay, next. As you can see, this example object sing. Bila dia sing, that mean the object are more dense. Okay, teacher has played dekat whiteboard teacher.
Okay, today's topic is about density. Okay, different object they will have different density. Okay, salin eh. Okay, remember different object they will have different density. The floating or sinking. The floating or sinking dance tu maksudnya uh, ketumpatan ya eh? bahasa Melayu ketumpatan. The floating or sinking of object related to the density. Okay. As you can see, teacher will draw here. Okay, I hope you can um, understand. Okay, teacher can draw. Uh, okay, this is contohnya aquarium. Okay, this one aquarium. Dalam aquarium ni ada air. Okay, dalam aquarium ni ada air. She will draw water. Okay, certain object are uh, fluid. Okay, contoh tadi yang float adalah uh, macam ni eh, teacher lukis uh, bola, ball. Senang teacher lukis. Certain object, they are float. Okay, ada ball kat sini. Okay, this one ball. And also teacher lukis kayu. Kayu balak. Okay, macam oh, kayu ni. Okay, kayu. This object, they are float. Object ni float. That's mean, bila object ni float, okay, this object are float. Bila dia float, that's mean this object are less dense than water. Sebab apa dia ada atas air? So, kita kena cakap dia less dense than water. Tapi certain object, they are sink. Contoh yang sink adalah batu. Okay, teacher lukis ada batu dekat bawah ni. And another example, teacher lukis apa ya? Ah, Contohnya key. Key. Contoh ni key, kunci. Okay, this key are sing. Okay, this one key, teacher tulis supaya awak tahu. This one key, this one stone. This one ball. And this one lock ataupun kayu balak. Stone and key, they are sing. Bila they sing, that means the object are more dense than water. Okay, now can you understand about the density? Yang kenapa dia float, kenapa dia sing? Boleh ingat tak? Can you understand what is density? Why certain object are float and why certain object are seen? Okay, remember certain object are float because they are less dense than water. Water ni kat tengah-tengah. 
and certain object are sink because they are more dense than water. Okay, this one is water. Okay, this time teacher nak tanya. Okay, I give you five minutes to copy this note. Okay, salin dulu nota teacher ni. Depan ni teacher nak tanya. Okay, you can copy my note. I give you five minutes to copy my note. Okay, this one is new for you. Last time you have learned about sting and flute. Tapi this time. Uh, yes, tulis semua. Page. Okay, kalau boleh page lain because this is a new topic. Tulis dan city ni besar-besar. Tulis dekat page lain sebab this one is a new topic. Kalau boleh, tulis. Okay, density. Last time, uh, if I'm not mistaken, when you are primary two, you have learned about object which are float, which are sink. But now, you will learn why that object sink, why that object float. Okay, you just remember any object they are float, they are float because the object are less dense. They kurang dense daripada air. While object they are seeing yang tenggelam disebabkan oleh uh, because they are more dense. Dia lebih tumpat daripada water. Ya, yes, salin semua. Sikit je. Okay, copy the notes in your science notebook. Kalau tak ada science notebook, tulis dalam kertas. Nanti dekat kertas tu tampal dalam buku sains warna hijau. Muhammad Amma, what are you doing Muhammad Amma? Have you copied the notes Muhammad Amma? Mama Amma ada tak buku warna hijau? Salin nota yang teacher bagi. I can see you from here. Okay, good. Teacher nampak Amsha Salin, Zia, Amah Hadi, Nazir, Akmal, Hana, Rania, Akif, Mutakif. Okay, Fatin Auni done. Very good. Okay, you have three minutes left.
Okay, after this, you just remember different object, they have different density. Dan kenapa object tu sing? Kenapa object tu float? So, you you must remember object float because they are less dense than water. Tapi, kalau object tu sing, because why? Because that object are more dense than water. Okay, you have two minutes left. Okay, there are many objects. They can be float, they can be seen. Okay, uh, SQ3 Ikram. Dah siap. SQ ni apa? Stand for what SQ? SQ ni nama apa? Teacher, oh, Sofia. Sofia Kasrina eh. Teacher dah tak ingat dah. You write your short, short name. So, teacher tak tahu nama pun awak. Okay, I hope all of you done. Okay, I give you one minute. Minute lagi. Okay, Rania done. Very good. Okay, siapa yang dah siap? Yes, boleh Rauda. Okay, siapa yang dah siap? Okay, I want you to think one object. Uh, which are float and one object which are sick. Okay, teacher kata aja sorang-sorang. Okay, contohnya um, awak fikir apa contoh yang objek dia float? Apa contoh yang objek dia sick? After this, I want to ask you. Contoh eh, teacher nak contoh. Contohnya awak tahu tadi teacher dah, dah share dekat sini ball, bola. Dia terapung. Okay, dia float. Satu lagi uh, batu. Dia tenggelam, sink. And then I will ask you why the ball are float. You just remember the object or the ball are float because dia adalah less dense. Less dense than water. Tapi the object contohnya stone. They see because there are more dense than water. Okay, Ahmad Nazir dah. Teacher tunggu lagi dua orang. Siapa yang type dekat group chat ni dah, maksudnya most of you have done. Okay, if you done, you just um, write done at group chat. Okay, Ibrahim dan Okay, lagi seorang. If you write dan, I will assume that most of you dan. Okay, Akbar also dan. Okay, Nazi dan. Okay, good. So after this, I want to ask you one by one. Yes, Mutakif dan. I want to ask you one by one. Think one object which are float and one object they are seen. Okay, bagi satu contoh dekat teacher. Teacher nak, yes, Ibrahim dah angkat tangan awal-awal. Yes, Ibrahim. Give me example. Teacher lukis aquarium dulu, okay. Give me example. Uh, object yang 
uh, float. Okay, ni aku room teacher. Okay, bagi satu contoh dekat teacher yang float. Okay, sorry. Kapal. Kapal, okay, good. Teacher tulis air dulu. Lukis air dulu. Okay, dah ada orang kat tangan. Tinggi sangat. Sekejap eh. Hmm, teacher nak lukis pun take time. Okay. Okay, ni air. Kawan awak cakap kapal. Ataupun ship. Teacher, teacher tak lukis eh. Susah nak lukis. Okay, ship. Okay, kenapa this ship are float? Is float. Kenapa? Ibrahim. Sebab less dense. Okay, because this ship are less dense than water. Okay, give me example object that are seen. Cawan kaca. Okay. Glass. Uh, glass. Okay, glass. Why this glass are uh, is seen? Because more dense than water. Okay, because this glass are more dense than water. Okay, Nazir said me, me. Okay, mana Nazir? Okay, thank you Ibrahim. Okay, mana Nazir? Teacher cari nama Nazir sekejap. Okay, yes Nazir. Apa example yang float dulu? Yes Nazir. Ha, cepat. Kau nak tunggu ni nak jawab. Ha, kat tangan tapi tak jawab Nazir ni. Okay, Demi. Kaya kereta. Kaya kereta tenggelam ke? Timbul. Ha? Timbul. Okay. Tire. Sebab dia getah. Tire. Okay, why this tire are float? Sebab... Um, less than... Less dense than water. Okay, very good. This tire are float because less dense than water. Okay, another example. Object they are seeing. Hmm. Ah, cepat dia ni. Batu. Okay, batu ataupun rock. Okay, kenapa rock ni uh, tenggelam, sing? More dense than water. Okay, very good. Because more dense than water. Okay, yes, Nazir. Teacher can hear you. Awak jawab tapi kita tak dengar suara awak. Uh, Saya pinang. Okay, thank you, Danny. Okay, next. Siapa lagi boleh bagi contoh dekat teacher? Okay, yes, Aiman. Where is Aiman? Okay. Okay, yes, Aiman. Can you give me example object they are float? Ha, teacher Almi awak. Okay, what is your answer, Aiman? Yes, Aiman. What object they are float? Mana Aiman tadi? Okay, you can write the answer at chat group. Okay, Nazir said object they are float is bottle. Yes, very good. This is example of object they are float bottles. Okay, Nazir. Objek apa pula yang tenggelam? Okay, yes, Fatin Auni. Okay, Fatih Auni, give me your answer. Object yang float. Straw. Okay, straw. Very good. Yang tenggelam? Anchor. Okay, very good. Anchor. Anchor ni yang dekat kapal tu. 
dia yang ke ni uh, kita panggil bahasa Melayu dia sawu dia dekat dengan kapal biasanya kalau kapal berlabuh dia akan baling anchor so anchor tu akan um, tenggelam atau sink dalam laut jadi bila uh, ship dekat atas dia tak boleh bergerak sebab ada anchor dekat bawah Okay, Aiman Naufal said yang sink tadi adalah Uh, bowling, yes, bowling tu berat. Ni eh, bowling. Dia macam daripada iron kan, uh, dia berat so dia will sink. Teacher sorry, teacher straw ni. Okay, teacher berkesan. Okay, dia ni, okay, mutakif. After this, ni Zarif eh. Okay, mutakif. Strong. Okay, mutakif. Where is mutakif? Teacher will unmeet awak. Mana mutakif? Okay, yes, mutakif. What is the example of object that are float? Ball. Ball. Okay, yang sing? Yang tenggelam? Diamond. Diamond. Okay, seorang lagi. Siapa tadi angkat tangan? Zarif. Nick Zarif. Where is Nick Zarif? Okay, yes. Nick Zarif. Give me example. One object that are float. Duckling toy. Okay, duck. Duckling toys tadi tu. Duckling toys. Okay, yang sing. Baik. Hmm? Brick. Okay, kayu bata, bat, batu bata tadi. Okay, next. Why duckling toys are sing? Uh, sorry, why duckling toys float? Kenapa dia float? Siapa nak jawab? Kenapa this uh, object float? Cukup angkat tangan. Yes, Ahmad, uh, Amar Hadi. Kenapa duckling toys float? Sebab Sebab Less dense than water Okay very good because These uh, objects are less Dense than water Okay why bricks are sink in the water Because More dense than water oh, Because these objects are More dense than water So I will stop here I hope all of you can Remember Okay, I hope all of you can remember why object are seen and why object are fluid. Okay, remember object they are fluid because they are less dense than water. Mesti ada than water. And some object they are seen because they are more dense than water. So I hope you can remember the key point here more dense and also less than. I hope I should stop here and I hope all of you can remember about the topic density. So different uh, object will have different density. Okay that's all for today. I hope all of you can uh, understand the lesson for today. Semua faham? Kalau faham tunjuk teacher, thumbs up. Okay teacher. Okay, very good. So, siapa yang belum sempat salin, teacher punya nota, nanti awak tengok balik video teacher and then awak salin. Okay, that's all for today. Let's recite surah wal'as and tasbih kifara. Allahumma wa bihaqdika ashadu an la ilaha illa anta asma'a Wa la'atinna insana la fi kusi Wa la'atinna amana kaimu Wa la'atinna amana kaimu Wa la'atinna amana kaimu Wa la'atinna amana kaimu Okay that's all for today Bye Assalamualaikum Okay bye Be ready for your next class. Bye. Bye. Okay, I will end. Bye. Bye.
Thank <laughs> you.